Hello there, we Polly here. Just a wee quick one. This is what I do when I'm testing knives. I end up in the kitchen usually because the bits of paper don't go everywhere and they're easier to sweep off a, a, a laminate floor rather than the carpet. So what I'm doing is exactly that. And I'm testing out the new Manly, which is a slip joint. And that's more or less the reason why I'm doing this as well, because people have a fear of slip joints that they're going to close on them. Um, and, you know, slip joints do move about, but as long as you're doing the right movement, and uh, I don't know how you could get cut. If you, as long as you use the proper procedure, there's no reason why you're going to get cut with a slip joint. So, but this Manly, um, if you've watched the review, you've seen that the clip is a bloody nightmare. But Manly give you, as I showed you in the, the video, they give you an Allen key, or not an Allen key, a Torx key for both the pivot head and this back clip and it literally you just it's one screw you pop it in and as i showed you the clip is cut away so you just take it off put it in your pocket and tighten this up again and then you have a completely clip free knife to do heavy workout because the clip is fine for just doing a box or something but because i'm testing I just took it off and it gives me a lovely grip and I'm not going to hurt myself. I've got different grades. This is a really hard, um, you'll see, it's a really hard um, cardboard box. So I'm going to cut some of this stuff up here now and then I'm going to try, there's my Sharpie there. I have my Spidaco Sharp Maker and I have a strop. So I'm going to try to strop it first after I've cut some things up to see if that brings it back to, you know, to cutting paper. Um, now I've already started, as you see when I move you down, I've already started and then I thought, no, I'll just do a video of this. It's cotton paper. It's not brilliantly cotton paper because I have been using it and when I move you down, I've been using it before today. In fact, I've been using it for about a week. So, there we go. And this is S90V, for those of you who are just joining in now and haven't watched the video. So, right, let me move you down. This is where I do my cut and test down here. So, I'll quite happily, I'll just go ahead, I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to cut for a few minutes, and then we'll cut a bit of wood, and then we'll try this drop. So S90V, it's been a great steal. I haven't had to touch it at all, all week. And let me tell you, this cardboard is, there's bits of it that are damp. And like, I am not wasting any time doing that. And this is a slip joint, right? This moves just... You know, I can move it just like that. It's not, so this is not an extremely tight slip joint, but it is tighter than quite a few that I've used, I have to say. But it's got good ergonomics and it has a guard. That's hard cutting and this knife is by no means, I am in no worry about it closing on me. As long as I hold it in the right place and my fingers there it can't close on me so I don't have to worry I don't have to constantly think about it as long as I am cautious enough to hold it in the right place it will do that's really tough cardboard I have to say I haven't picked the blooming easiest one I wish I had so this is after a week of just everyday use I'm going to pick a wee bit of saucer. I have loads of cardboard here. I just gather up all my cereal boxes and things like that. Well, you can see you can see the difference there. There's a cereal box. That's how hard that other stuff was. It was just leaking. Nope. Yep. I've never had S90 V. It's the first time I've had it. And so far, it seems to be really quite good I, you know i can't find any fault with it with the top grade steel you know s30 v something like that it's maybe a bit better i'm not sure i don't do that much that i'm gonna be able to tell you but it's certainly not the hcr 13 that's for sure um not that there's anything wrong with the hcr 13 as i've said many a time but this this stuff just seems to be quite good I have no problems whatsoever with cutting with this. Now, my gosh, that all done. I'm good. 
Now, what I'm going to do is, oh, this is treated wood. It is rock solid. It has been inside my house for over a year. So it is really tight um, to cut. Now, this is a slip joint and we're doing woodwork. So if it's going to stick and do anything, you would have thought this is where it's going to do it. There, it went to go there. Because I jumped back, it went to go. But because my hand was there, I'm really impressed with this uh, steel. This wood is so hard. You've seen me when I had a, well, if you, if you go back, you'll see when I had a bushcraft knife, and it was struggling to get through it too, because it's just so dried out and hard. So that's pretty good going for a slip joint. There's a knot there. There we go, give it a bit of a... So that's gone through that knot. Now, that's not bad. I know it's not a, a huge test, but it just lets you know what this knife is like. Um, what the S90V is like. It's just cutting through cardboard as you would expect it should do. But I'm very impressed with the wood after a week's worth of cardboard. Now, this is always the test. What's it like? It's cutting, you know, it's cutting all right, but I can feel a little bit. Yeah, let's just uh, give it a quick strop. And this is what I normally do at the end of a day. Is just give my knives a quick strop like this. I haven't put any more stuff on this. I put some on, I think it was the day before yesterday. And usually about two days I'll use the strop and compound for before I change it. You'll actually see the, the blackness coming off when you're removing steel. And a lot of times when you're cutting cardboard up, it's the glue that makes the knife stick when it's going through. This came reasonably sharp, but wasn't extremely sharp. And I haven't put it on my um, Lansky yet. So that should be that. You can see, I'm just having a look at the edge on it. It looks pretty good. Well, it's, still, it's still not brilliant, to be honest. It's cotton, but it's not free cotton. So, I'm not going to waste time on that. I'll give this a go. Now, it said in the, the magazine it was 15 degrees or roughly each side. So, I'm going to do that with this. Give it a quick. Now, if anybody hasn't got one of these spider coat, it's such a handy piece of equipment. Now, especially if you just want to touch a wee knife up at the end of the day. I've had this one about, I suppose it must be about a year and a half now. And uh, sometimes that's all it takes to bring a knife back to sharpness again. There we go. So that is so much better than I, much better. So I'll give it another wee quick. And this this is just knife maintenance, you know. Everybody should have a wee strop because you don't want to be sharpening your knife and taking metal off it with you know heavy sharpening stuff. Now what's that like? That's, I'm just going right down through the whole edge of the knife now. That's right down to the tip. So, there we go. That's it sharpened. It took a couple of minutes. I'll take another couple of minutes and it'll be razor sharp. Once I get it on my landscape, it'll be even better because, as I say, when it came, it wasn't particularly sharp. So, 
The nice thing about the knife is if you want to put this back on again, it's just under your little one screw. You don't have to take it out, so you're not worrying about losing the screw. It's just a matter of undoing it a wee bit. And it slips underneath it into a groove. I need to take it a wee bit more than that. I hope this isn't too much of a suck eggs video, but it's a great knife. An absolutely marvellous knife. I gave it a 100% review. The only thing is this clip. It's Now, it's not a deal breaker for me because doing that's not any problem. I put this into my fifth pocket in there and I have the other one off it, which was the the Allen key for your your main um, pivot, which is an eight, and that just goes in there, into my pocket. I always keep a bit of string in there, and I've now got them in there with it. So that's it. It's back to normal again, and I've got a nice pocket clip, a nice deep ca carry pocket clip. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it wasn't making you suck eggs or anything. So I'm not expressing myself very well today. <laughs> but anyway, look, there you go. Nice there, great. S9, S90V, I don't see much difference between it and S30V. There's not that much difference in my book. And I mean, as long as I can get a knife to cut, I'm quite happy. Right down to the tip. See you later. Bye. Cup of tea time.